Morning everyone. Yeah, well, we're back from holiday. Had uh, about uh, 10 days away. We meant, we meant to have ten, uh, two weeks. Decided to come back early. A um, few reasons, weather and our, our youngest kid, Miriam. She wasn't making it very easy for Suzanne, so uh, you would come back and uh, come back to this morning 50 mils of rain so that's really good and got a little bit of rain yesterday so we've actually set our tent up on the lawn yesterday to dry out we didn't get it packed away dry so uh, Mateus is just getting the cows in they're slowly coming in but we've had like I said 50 mils of rain and we've had other little bits and pieces Mateus said Mateus and Nathan said they had other little bits of rain during the night so it is greener than what I thought it would be when we got home uh, I was talking to another farmer and he said it wasn't very good, but it's actually, it's not too bad, not too bad. So I fed out silage yesterday, because uh, that was another reason why I wanted to come back, is to actually get some silage fed out, just the cows have dropped down quite a bit, so they're doing, they're actually doing 0.8, um, so yeah, come back and feed out some silage, and I'm thinking about ordering some PKE, but it's expensive at the moment, um, so probably going to end up getting rid of empty cows and then uh, got a couple with eczema probably on the cheeks probably dry them off um, the sale count's a little bit high it's at 2.30 at the moment so another reason to come back to try and sort that out it shouldn't take too much it's probably the ones that have got eczema on their teeth are not milking out properly so here comes the cows up there you can just see them in the light there um, yeah so Gonna milk this morning, strip the herd, find the culprit, maybe dry a couple of Vexma cows off, and then I need to actually ring the stock agent and see when we can send cows away. And our empty rate was 8%, I think 7.8%, so 8% empty with the herd. I'm not gonna worry about testing our heifers this year, we're just gonna bring them back and uh, sell them guns when they come back, if there are any. So, yeah, that's the plan this morning. We've still got turnips, so from what I saw, there's probably just under a quarter of the paddock to go, so yeah, so they're going to need turnips, silage, and maybe palm them. The sow count normally sits below 100, so for it to be up at 2.30, two times, there's something going on. The sow, uh, the herd test may show who it is, I haven't actually had a look at the herd test, but we did the um, milk test. We did the milk te um, pregnancy test through the milk herd test. There's one, right there, that's probably it. First row. But she's not a three-titter. <laughs> Funny. Uh, Funny how it, it's quite often either first row or last row. There it is. I would say that is the problem. So, so because I've found that one, I actually won't strip the rest of the herd because the chances that uh, this one here is probably going to be the culprit is pretty high. Um, so, yeah. This is the risk is that it may have spread through the rest of the herd because the boys didn't find this one. So, yeah. We'll uh, take the risk and just go with that. So this is a bit of eczema, just on the teats. So we just put a bit of teat grease on here. Got plenty of milk, so um, yeah, she's not very happy. See that that milk isn't good there either. Or that one. 
little down. That one's not good either. So these are sure have a high sale count. Because she hasn't been milked out properly. Morning. <laughs> There's another one with eczema, but her milk's actually alright. I believe, yep. She's fine. So we'll keep milking that one for now. But as for the one down here, yeah. has she been kicking off it? Yeah. yeah. That's the main one. Yeah. Well, she, she's got. Look at her milk. See how it's at? Yeah. It's like a white colour? Yeah. Whereas if I strip this one here, See how it's more like blue. a blue colour? Yeah. So that's alright, no, that one's not. So I might try and treat her because she's still got plenty of milk, but that could be left over too, though. Yeah. So we'll see. So we're treating the one that's got mastitis on one quarter, just a pink project. And we're just going to watch the, make sure those other ones were done. Um, with uh, eczema, just make sure they milk out and uh, yeah, we'll just see how we go. in his natural habitat of milking with the cows. Little down. Oh no, he has spotted us. <laughs> You're a clown. That's what your video is going to be like. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's more... My video's going to be like a more of a... Oh, wait, hold on. I lost my train of thought. Um, It's really good actually, really really good. Well it's still raining, there go the cows that just had their turnips and they're heading to their paddock. We found, found one, so with the mastitis we found uh, one case of actual mastitis and then the other ones were cows that have got uh, eczema on their teeth, uh, their teeth are all scabby and that's, um, so they're not milking out properly so there's a couple there that don't it's not real bad mastitis, so I haven't treated them. I'm just gonna keep milking them into the test bucket and hope that they, uh, the, because the scabs do come off and the teeth get better, so we'll give it a week and uh, see how they're getting on. But this rain is awesome. We're probably, it was forecasted to have, um, it was meant to rain Sunday, uh, Sunday, Monday, so it rained yesterday a bit and today, and it's meant to be clearing tomorrow or Wednesday but I was just looking at the weather forecast and it's potentially rain like this for the whole week so that'll be good if we get that so we're just checking up on the the uh, culverts we put in the water from right up there is actually coming right down into this culvert here which is what it's meant to be doing Good. So you can see the water 
is going down here, which is where it's meant to be going. And then it goes to the left of the post there. I'm going to come up and dig that down a little bit so it goes. should be on that side we might come and try and get the water to go over cut a little, couple of channels and the water is coming down and going through the culvert which is what we want the water coming out there this is a bit that we don't want the water sitting here and this water here has got nowhere to go at this stage, it really, really needs because we've got a culvert there and the culvert down there where we just were but this here is not going anywhere and we don't want it sitting there because it'll, it'll soak into the race and make it soft when the cows walk on it but this water here is actually going this way through this culvert so that's what we want Issues you may have had, confessions. <laughs> well, we broke all the vehicles. <laughs> like, um, so it started off with the four bike. Oh no, the four wheeler. Yeah, the four wheeler. Uh, we put diesel in that by mistake because the petrol can said petrol, but apparently it was diesel. Um, and then after that, oh, we also put diesel in the motorbike, but the motorbike's fine. And then after that, um, I crack. Well, I didn't crack. Um, what would you call it? You backed the safari into yeah. the post. <laughs> yeah, I backed the safari into the post spot, like the side of it. And then <laughs> um, uh, the mo the motorbike car got flat, <laughs> went flat, so he took that apart and tried to uh, pump it up. Like we fixed the whole, put, like used a repair kit on the whole. Then uh, we put the car back on, we took it into town to pump it up, and then we brought it back and went. I got but when we brought it back it went it was completely flat again. So I'm not sure what So yesterday you guys got the cows in by foot. <laughs> yeah, so we did it all by foot yesterday. <laughs> and oh yeah, the safari uh the the front, front tire. Yeah, the front right tire got flat. And there was a spare but they didn't see it, yeah. so they didn't have to walk. Yeah. And then uh prior to that, you guys won't know but I can't remember who it was, but they put about 600 litres of water in the vat. So oh, we spent yeah. the afternoon emptying that. But yeah, I remember that. I think uh, it's good for these guys, the young guys, to learn from their mistakes. Yeah. I think uh, as farmers, we need to give uh, these young guys a chance to uh, to work out yeah. and not yell at them when they uh, make a mistake. Yeah. As long as you learn from their mistakes. Yeah. So these guys didn't, um, when we, when we had to dump the milk, we didn't just dump it, we actually, um, put it in these drums to feed the pigs. So, they learnt their lesson, because we brought, we used a pallet on the front of the tractor, and a pallet on the back, and we brought down uh, eight buckets, eight drums at a time, eight 200 litre drums. They had about 150 litres of milk and they had to 
roll them off, didn't they, Mateus? Yeah. You had to roll every single one from that gate over there to where they are now. So they, <laughs> it's barely they'll easy. remember next time not to put water in the vat because... Flavoured water. Flavoured water. <laughs> <laughs> what it, yeah. Did you stir it up? Oh, you just put that... Yeah, I'm just going to pull that in. Yeah. So you get another... Um, something to put it in. Oh. Oh, there's so much rain at the moment, that's why the containers are full. Right. Yeah, put it in this one. See if you, how good you're aiming. I can't even find it. Can't even see it. Oh, look at that, he got it! <laughs> Oh, the pigs are Oh, and you got me. <laughs> <laughs> so we spent the afternoon doing this. It wasn't very planned. It was just before we went away on holiday. But um, they got it done. And yeah, so you don't need to tell them off. They just got to... What, do what will you call it? Hey, don't do that again kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> they remember it because they had to do the hard work to uh, empty the vat. Time to feed the chickens. So any um, farmers that are looking for students from the farm or people, just go to see your local school or go to go to a church or a community centre and see if um, they have anyone that they can recommend to work hammer Yeah. It's good fun. for the young people to get on the farm. It's learn, my dream job so I'm happy with it. Learn how to ride the bikes and drive tractors. Yeah, get milk, out. Milk cows. And then it gives you a sleep in too, once you train them up. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see, we're at the runoff now and the dock is dead. It's all yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need dramatic music to that? <laughs> um, so we're just going to shift the calves to another paddock. I think they'll finish their paddock where they are, I think. So we'll go and have a look. And I did put some hay on because I thought I might feed some hay, but I was going to feed silage, but I don't want to feed it out in the rain to the calves because they haven't had it before, so we'll wait till we get a bit of fine weather before we get into the silage. Hey, Matthias, what do you reckon about these calves? Do you reckon they're in good condition? What uh, well, according to you, they look a little bit light, so we'll say a little bit light. What does everyone else think? <laughs> oh, you spooked them. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> they all bolted. Here's the beefies. I'm not going to go across today because I've been across the ford once where it's been like that and ended up walking right around and coming up through a neighbouring farm so we'll give it a miss over here. Right, so we just got back from the runoff and the rain gauge. We had 50 mils in it this morning and we've got 90 in it now so we had another 40 mils this morning which is good, really good. So if we have a bit more of this We'll be away, I reckon. Thanks for watching. Catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.